celebrate the feast of the Mary as the mother of the church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, before offering this Eucharistic sacrifice, let us recall to mind all our sins and failures. I confess, my dear God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who have been pleased to gladden the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we pray, that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may receive the joys of everlasting life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. After Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and said to him, where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. He said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, the woman whom you gave to me to be with me, she gave me the fruit of the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, what is this that you have done? The woman said, the serpent deceived me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and above all beasts of the field. On your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. The man called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Founded by him on the holy mountain, the Lord loves the gates of Sion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. Of you are told glorious things, you, O city of God. But of Zion it shall be said, each one was born in her. He, the Most High, established it. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. In his register of peoples, the Lord writes, Here was this one born. The singers cry out in chorus, In you all find their home. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God.
gospel acclamations. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. O happy virgin, you gave birth to the Lord, O blessed mother of the church, you warm our hearts with the spirit of your son, Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Madeline. When Jesus saw his mother, and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from the owl, the disciple took her to his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said, To fulfill the scripture, I thirst. A jar full of salt wine stood there. So they put a sponge full of the salt wine on a hyssop branch and held it to his mouth. When Jesus has received the salt wine, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Seeing it was a day of preparation, and so that the bodies would not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break, it, break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear. And at once they came out blood and water. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, as we are gathered here at the sanctuary of this historically important place of our own spirituality, all of us are called to consider Blessed Virgin Mary as our beloved mother. In the Bible, we came to know there are two mothers are given to us. In the book of Genesis, which we have heard today, speaks about the first mother, Eve. All those who have been born after Adam and Eve or having the one and the same mother as Eve. The gospel of today speaks about another mother given by our Lord Jesus Christ to St. John, not only to him, to all of us here present. So two mothers are presented to us today for our reflection as we are here in Fatima to intercede as the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary for all of us, for all of our needs, for all of our concerns. Brothers and sisters, we have to understand the importance of Blessed Virgin Mary in our way of living, in our faith of being Catholics, and in our way of being the people of God. Eve is also a mother Blessed Virgin Mary is also a mother. Eve, she was disobedient to the plan of God, whereas the Blessed Virgin Mary was obedient to the plan of God, even though she couldn't understand what was it to be the mother of Jesus Christ, he accepted in obedience, let thy will be done with a simple word fiat. Whereas Eve went 
away from the creator she wanted to become god himself so that she was the obedient mother whereas the blessed virgin mary obedient mother secondly we look at eve she was guiding herself when she committed mistake the first reading of today speaks about god was calling where are you where are you she couldn't come out because she was naked because she was sinful she was supposed to give us redemption as the mother the first mother rather she ran away from us whereas the blessed virgin mary the mother for all of us the apparition which took place at this place is nothing but the willingness the readiness of blessed virgin mary to be always at service for the entire humanity the gospel we read how blessed mercy where he was ever ready to help all the people who were around her particularly the disciples when they were left without our lord jesus christ and she was there in their midst to encourage them to pray for them and put them the right spirit to receive the holy spirit it is the same blessed virgin mary is here in our midst today calling you each and every one of you my daughter my son here i am don't be discouraged i am with you to guide you console you i myself went through all kinds of sufferings as we have read today's gospel so see is there to help us in all possible ways thirdly he brought only the evil in our midst as you know very well the virginal same came into this world because of eve's disobedience whereas the blessed virgin mary by giving herself to the will of god through her son he has redeemed us and see through her son took away the original sin leaving us to redemption so my dear brothers and sisters all of us have to understand the importance of the blessed virgin mary in our life in the life of the church is a beautiful coincidence that we are able to celebrate here at this sanctuary the feast of the mother of the church we know very well she is the mother of god mother of christ but the mother of the church that means mother of each one of us here present let us thank the lord for having given us this wonderful opportunity and a beautiful weather where we could be very happy feel the her presence in our midst so we give ourselves as saint john has given herself to accepting her as the mother accepting her to be with him at home let us welcome the blessed virgin mary in our life whenever we recite rosary we should feel the incarnated jesus christ with the mysteries is coming towards us in the presence of the holy spirit through the intercession of the blessed mary so we pray for each and every one of us for all our needs for all our concerns for all our difficulties and we should also pray for the whole world the whole world should understand what does it mean to be holy what does it mean to be a real human being as per the creation of our creator let us pray for the whole world those areas where still we have wars dislike hatred and other evil things are still on the move our prayers today not only for our well being also well being of our brothers and sisters because blessed virgin mary is the mother of the church
Let us stand up for the prayer of the faithful. Brothers and sisters, here at this sacred spot where the most holy Virgin Mary appeared, let us all of us present our prayers to God our Father who gave us the mother of his son to be our beloved mother. For all the faithful that obeying the fields of Mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work hurriedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of the Christ, we pray to the Lord. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they are attentive to the word of God, love it proclaim and in fidelity and enthusiasm. As Mary did, we pray to the Lord. Lord for those who govern nation, that they may work for justice and peace in the world and unharmoniously collaborate in just distribution of earth goods among inhabitants of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord for all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of affected in, in loving care of others, in contemplation of the cross of the Christ, they may find courage to, pay, to face the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord and for all those here present for our families, for nation, for our city, that may intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him. Sinner may be converted. Young people may open their hearts with, with enthusiasm to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for our personal prayers in silence. God of infinite goodness, attend to you to the supplication of your people and with the prayers of Blessed Virgin Mary, mother of your son and the mother of the church, to help us listen to our pleas and increase our faith. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, 
it will become our spiritual drink. Lanka, we ask you to receive us and be pleased to sacrifice which you offer the simple and contract. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May your life be sacrificed at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, Father, and the Holy Church. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility, which we bring you with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant, we pray, that it may be for us who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth and our eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in our, the exaltation of all the saints, especially as we celebrate the memory and the feast of the Mother of the Church of Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to year's end, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with us in one chorus of external praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your health is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church through the world. I pray for the for charity, Brother Francis, our Pope, our local bishop, and and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. By the Savior's command and found by the divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, and hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Not bring me condemnation, but have a clean mind and in body. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ bring all of us eternal life. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of the mother of your Son may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Let us bow our heads for a special blessing. May Almighty God bless you in his kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. May he nourish you always with the teaching of the faith as per the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and make you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. May he turn your steps towards himself and show you the path of charity and peace. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and love of Christ. Yes, we wish you a pleasant day at the shrine and the sanctuary of Blessed Virgin Mary.